I must admit the, uh, the lady at the coffee shop looked a bit uh, strangely at me when I asked for a cafe con leche in this vessel. Um, it's not the size they usually use and I think they only do paper cups. So, um, hey, we're finally <laughs> heading towards Valencia. It's only going to be an hour and I'll be there. So, got me coffee. Let's go. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you've already watched like two or three of my glorious uh, videos, then uh, welcome back. I'm Jack and uh, I drive a van called Dean. Hence the channel is called Jack Van Dean. Which I thought was clever, but hey, who knows? Um, like I said, uh, fourth clip on YouTube. Uh, it is for me, uh, what shall I say, how shall I call it? It's a learning curve. Uh, I need to explore, I need to check what I um, like doing, whether it's a vlog style or whether it's uh, like my thoughts and uh, or whether it's just pretty pictures. Um, I still haven't got a clue. I hope by doing more I will um, I will know and I'll find out and you'll find out with me what shall I say I guess you could say this is a van life channel and um, then it's up to you fill in what does van life exactly mean I still haven't really figured that out yet but um, again along the way I will. Now I'm taking off my glasses because I think uh, the eye contact is maybe better if I speak to you directly. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Jack and uh, the van is called Dean. I have been whisking my way down from um, Berlin I can't say sunny Berlin. I always call it sunny Berlin, but it's not sunny Berlin. It's very wintry, minus 12 degrees, minus 15, snowy Berlin. So I left Berlin via Holland, Belgium, Luxembourg and France into Spain, where I was hoping to find some sun. And uh, just in case you are seeing uh, through the window with me, um, I have found sun. It's not quite like summer 25 degrees but it is a pleasant um, you know um, 18 19 degrees I've already passed uh, Barcelona so now I'm on my way up to Valencia and the people who have been following me you will know that I've been saying quite a while now that I am on my way to Valencia so this is the road to Valencia believe it or not I made a point in a, a previous video that I'm 55 and embarking on this adventure that we call van life on uh, on the good old YouTube 
And I was asking or pondering whether that's an issue, you know, being 55 and all that. And uh, a lot of resonance, um, I must admit, I got a lot of response saying like, you're never too old. On the other hand, I got a couple of nasty emails as well saying like, well, you're 55, obviously you're homeless. Like, mm, not exactly, but hey, uh, you know, there'll be bad people everywhere. But most of all, um, I must admit, the, uh, the response was pretty positive. So um, thank you for that. Trust me, I read all of them. There have been some nasty ones as well. So welcome to YouTube, welcome, welcome to real life. Uh, but most uh, most of the comments have been pretty positive and very, uh, you know, they've, they've been helping me with my diesel heater. They've been wishing me success with my, with my travels. So thank you very much uh, for those comments. Keep them coming. Um, and I just hope that you enjoy, uh, you know, driving along, traveling along with me on this uh, journey to, um, to Spain and to finding some winter sun, some relaxation, to finding some inner peace, just to find some peace and quiet. So, some of you are very, very impatient and keep on saying like, where's the van tour? We want the van tour. What does it look like inside? And I don't really want to build up tension, to be quite honest. It's not a luxury van at all. But, but to be quite honest, I want to give Dean uh, the attention that it deserves, or it, he deserves. So I want to give it some time when I do, um, when I do film <laughs> the interior of my van um, and I don't want to do it on a parking lot or um, I was even considering you know what I'm I'm not gonna do it myself I'm gonna wait until I'm somewhere where there's a guy or a girl or whoever enthusiast who can um, help me film it so I can I can move whereas they can film so that is still an option but it is in the pipeline for you that are really keen on the van tour. I mean, it is a classic, of course. I have to do it. I understand it. So I will do it. I seem to say a lot, bear with me in my videos. So bear with me. And I have to say it again. Bear with me. Um, it'll be there. It'll come. But not just now. Now I'm just driving. And I'm driving on the... I have no idea what motorway, but it is leading me to Valencia. Wait a minute. A uh, sign is coming up. I'll tell you in a second. It apparently is the lovely name of V23 Valencia. There you go. So back to the question of van life. What does van life mean for me? Good question. I think that is, you know, you know, it's worthy of a real video, really. I'm guessing for every vehicle, there is a van lifer. I don't think you actually can sort of say, um, oh, sorry, I have to take this exit. So bear with me just uh, that I am doing this safely. Um, so, for every van or for every vehicle, there's probably a van lifer. I guess it's uh, up to every individual how he fills out the term van lifer. Um, I haven't really made up my mind yet. Um, in one respect, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yet. In one respect, I am uh, enjoying the peace of quiet, of, fi uh, of finding places in nature where I can just relax and be quiet on my own and not be bothered with people or noises or whatever. On the other hand, being a solo traveler, I have to admit that sometimes it gets a bit lonely as well. So then you want the nearness or you want people around you. And then, you know, cities and, and larger villages are probably more my thing as well. So I'm still trying to figure that one out. 
and hopefully you will figure it out with me. Now, since I'm on, um, on YouTube researching what the best ways is of uh, starting a channel, um, they give me lots of advice and keep on suggesting other van lifers. So I'm checking out their uh, channels, which is very interesting because let's be honest, every van lifer or whatever you call it, every camper, every uh, person who chooses to do a different thing um, has their own story and also their own van, their own lifestyle, their own goals, problems, you name it. YouTube also suggests other people to me, it has nothing to do with van life, but who are very successful on uh, YouTube who've got millions of views or subscribers. And one of them is a, uh, a young bodybuilder, and I forgot his name, but I'll blend it in here somewhere. And he's got millions of followers. And um, he films himself driving in his car with his thoughts of the day, apparently. And people seem to enjoy that. Um, so not that I want to copycat him, but I thought like, hey, I own a van, I drive, so why not drive and talk at the same time, safely? But um, I thought I'll give that a shot. Not sure if you're interested in my thoughts while I'm driving, but hey, I thought I'd try it. It's a different approach from making a video. Um, so, you know, um, I learn as I go along. And you can write me in the comments whether you like this kind of video or whether you like a more vlog style storytelling movie than you know me talking behind the wheel in front of uh, the camera I used to play a lot of music while driving but lately I just enjoy the silence well you see I say enjoy the silence I've been rambling on for the last uh, 20 minutes but usually when I drive and I'm not uh, recording, I just, you know, drive, enjoy the humming of the engine and soak it all in without the constant noise of a radio or um, thumping music. I must admit, the Spanish radio stations, God, they do talk a lot, don't they? I mean, I don't hear music. They're just like talk, talk, talk. And unfortunately, I don't understand what they're talking about. I still need to learn more Spanish. Oh, let me correct that. I need to learn Spanish, full stop. Now, I am entering the Valencia area, so I kind of need to start paying attention how I get to um, Alboraya. Now, since I'm, this is fun, since, since I'm filming the road with my mobile phone I cannot have Google uh, Maps on so I'm just winging it so I'll see where I end up I think Valencia I, I think I can recognize that it's the Alboraya thing that maybe is gonna be a bit more tricky but um, yeah I'm sure oh Alboraya it's even mentioned there so there you go um, it is a place I've only been in Spain now for two weeks and not to brag, but I do speak a couple of languages. I mean, coming from a small country like Belgium, uh, you, you, excuse, what are you doing? Excuse me. Sorry. Um, coming from a small country like Belgium, uh, you're expected to you know, learn multiple languages just to survive in the world. So I speak Flemish, Dutch, French, English and German. Just basically. And now I'm in Spain and all of a sudden my language skills are just letting me down completely. Uh, I don't know a word of Spanish. I can basically order a coffee and I feel so inadequate. 
So what I'm going to look into when I am uh, in Valencia is maybe, you know, would not be a bad idea really, uh, is maybe finding a course of basic knowledge Spanish and, and, and learn some basic skills that you don't really feel like the foreigner in a country. I mean, I'm a guest here. I might as well, uh, you know, learn the language. Somehow it's uh, driving me here through a little village uh, and it's a 30 miles an hour, bang, bang, uh, limit here. So let's be on, I don't want to get, I don't want to get fined in Spain yet. So there you go. So. So I don't think it's a bad idea actually to, you know, learn a bit of Spanish. Um, if I believe it correctly, actually after English, Spanish is probably the language most spoken in the world. So, um, you know, it would be a handy skill to have. Now, okay, we're going up a bridge here. <laughs> Not sure. Sometimes, I don't know if you've got Google Maps, but sometimes I really am convinced that Google is not choosing the best possible way. But hey, I'm not complaining um, much. But there you go. People who like camping uh, tend to use one app called uh, Park for Light. Park for Life. People who tend to camp, or people who camp, people camp, it sounds wrong. Um, uh, van lifers or people uh, traveling or camping will use the app uh, Park for Night, which is an app that will tell you where there are good locations to have an overnight or where there are good locations where you can park for the night, hence the name, uh, or where there, are where there are good camping sites, giving them five star ratings or zero star ratings. Um, I was just checking Valencia and unfortunately in all the comments on the Valencia, um, I have to remember calling it Valencia with a with a B and not a V, a harsh V. So, Valencia. Um, I have read the comments, and all the comments in Valencia um, mention that it is not tolerated anymore in the city center to actually park your vans there and uh, have an overnight there. So, that sort of screws up my plans of, uh, you know, directly going to Valencia. Now, I have found a, a very close second option, and it's Alboraya. Alboraya, I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's basically next to Valencia, on the seafront, with beach access, like within five minutes. So, I'm definitely gonna check that out, because the restriction of not um, parking there overnight uh, it doesn't it's not valid in Alboraya so I would feel more at ease if I know that I could just you know park there overnight and no police is gonna tap on the door saying like excuse me you are not allowed to park here for the night so um, travel with me or uh, and I will be arriving there shortly and then we'll see you know what it looks like if I'm alone there usually you know it is January so it could be quite quiet uh, so hopefully I'm not there uh, you know my own and that there's other vans there that always gives you that extra piece of security that you're not alone or that you can just ask somebody like is it a safe area or whatever so um, um, we'll see in a minute because we're nearly there. You see, this is the exact cutoff point between Valencia and Alboraya. So from here onwards, you can actually park overnight for more than one night, maybe a week. And uh, let's check that out then.
Oh, look. Uh, looks like I'm not alone. I'm not the only van, which is good. That makes me feel secure. And maybe I can even talk to one of them and see what they say about this place. Looks good. Looks clean. And uh, only five minutes uh, by bike, apparently, into, the t into Valencia, into town. So um, we'll check that tomorrow. Okay, I had my coffee, I've arrived where I've wanted to be, you were my company, uh, thank you very much, and there's only one thing I still want to do with you, and that is race you to the beat. Come on.